We're looking at an electric vehicle. This one, the electro kit, and they're selling zero emission batteries. So this will give you an idea of the lithium phosphate batteries. Each one of the cells, the weight, the milliamp hours, the density. The batteries are packaged rather uniquely, depending on if it's a vehicle application or a motorcycle application. The interesting thing about this is that most of the batteries are using that same standard battery pack arrangement, and that arrangement is designed basically to lock in on the back of the bikes. So this has been a standard configuration and set out for use in almost all the lithium ferrous phosphate batteries. Pretty neat. I'm at Porter Power Limited. They have a wide range of battery packs and built in aluminum extruded housing. And they have a unique handle connected with them. This battery pack is actually 60 volts at 10,000 milliamp hours or basically about uh, 10 amps. So it's 600 watts or about a horsepower worth of batteries. The way they've set it up, Doug, is kind of unique because they actually put in three of these independent packs into this nice little cycle. So they've got a great arrangement there with nice hub motors, disc brakes on the back of it. But the unique things are the housings that are actually used for these batteries. So this is 54 volts, 60 volts. So I think it would be the ideal setup then for us uh, on the C2C to develop some kind of a battery pack. Or In addition like to this. the battery packs, they developed a unique charger that's actually mated to the packs. And what's nice about the motorcycle is that the pack, the charger, is put in a nice pack mounted in the back of the cycle. So each of the batteries can be independently charged, or we have a receptacle in the front which will accept either 110 or 220 and charge the entire batteries while you're shopping at Costco. Very interesting technology. I'm at Uracell Technology Corporation. They've done a neat thing. It looks like a car battery, but it's made out of rechargeable lithium iron phosphates, 12.8 yeah, yeah, volts. This is a 110 amp hour battery. They have a smaller version down here, which is a 40 amp hour battery, but still 12.8 volts. But the neat thing about it is they can actually cascade the batteries to give them approximately 50 volts. And is this a charger it's rated? It's a BMS drill. This is a battery pack for a Prius. It's uh, running about 5,000 watts continuous. It is a 240 volt pack. This is all self-contained. All you need to do is hook it up to the motors. The price on this, a mere $4,000, which is a lot less than what I would think. This is a, gives you an idea of how it's set in the back of the car. Very, very compact. And the lid folds down on this thing to make a complete plug-in module. This is certainly the way to go for a, a building car. Excellent technology here. Just need one of these in my special new vehicles that I've yet to build.